Hi everybody, I've made this bit of uh, steam junk silliness and in this video I'm going to show you how I made it so that you can join in the fun and make your own. Thank you. So I started with a yellow pom-pom and added stripes with a sharpie pen and then uh, some white felt cut out a pair of or two pairs of wings and then here's my uh, there they are, just the right size, just really carefully along the edges with the hot glue gun and then glued them into place and then you'll notice I've glued the head on there which is just a smaller black pom pom. And then I made the antennae from some elastic that was attached to a product, it was just a, a bit of elastic that held a product label into place and again a bit of hot glue on the head and then just sort of dabbed the end of the antenna into that and there's the beam and I think that looks quite cute and I'll probably use that for another project. Uh, and then I've got uh, these cardboard, this is just corrugated cardboard discs that I'm using and I'm measuring them out. The large one is 45mm, the middle one is 30 and these two small washes are 20mm. A pair of compasses, measure them out and then carefully cut them out with the scissors. And, uh, and that's the last of them. Um, and then to make a hole in the middle I've used uh, an eraser and the point of a pencil and I only need the two small ones and the middle sized one need a hole and the large one doesn't need a hole. And I'm going to cut a strip of card. So this strip of card is for measuring purposes only. This is sort of a one-off use. It gets used once and then chucked. It's 20mm wide and it's a way of finding 20mm height on the cup. So I've sort of measured the diameter of the cup, trimmed off the end there. So I've now got a strip that fits exactly around the cup. Fold it in half to find the centre point and lay it out. Put a pencil mark on where the centre point is and then mark off one side there. Roll it round, mark off the other and then I've now got two marks that are exactly opposite each other on the cup ready for my skewer to go in. like that. So point of a pencil, erase around the back so I don't spite myself, push the pencil through and there that's ready for the uh, skewer to go in in a minute. So uh, these straws here, this is I've got two different sizes of, of drinking straw here, these are 8mm paper art straw and that's going to be the hole that the drive shaft goes through. So that I made a hole in the top of the cup, hot glued it into place like that and then on the largest of the three cardboard discs I've glued a smaller straw which is a six mil diameter straw and then threaded it into place inside the cup like that and then um, fitted the washer this is a, a bamboo skewer so I fitted the washer and then the drive wheel and then another washer on the other side and then just a dot of hot glue to hold each one into place. And there you go. So then to make a little crank I've used uh, a paper clip, straightened it out with a pair of pliers, bent it in half as close as I could get to the middle, not that accurate, bent once, bent twice and made that little crank handle like that, trimmed off the end with, a, with my little wire snips and then hot glued that onto the skewer and then once, that's, once that glue's cooled down that's ready for action. Uh, leaves, just um, thin coloured cardboard, I've uh, folded it in half and cut round, drawn it on, folded it in half, cut round and then I and that gives me two exactly the same size, a little bit of a curve for sort of extra realism. And then draw in some veins using a green pen just to sort of finish them off. Glue them into place with a hot glue gun. And uh, I just did a couple, it just I think that was enough, it sort of uh, gave the effect. And then I'm going to cut out a whole load of petals, eight or ten of them, something like that, all around about the same sort of size. And then hot glue gun, little dot of hot glue, 
H1 into place, work the way around the flower and there it is. And so that's first five and then another layer sort of in between those two and then a central piece for the flower which I've cut a hole in that's just a little bit larger than the paper straw, glue that into place and then that's the flower compete and you can see that the whole thing's working. And I've just got a couple of snips into the top of the paper straw. This is a piece of uh, craft wire that I got off eBay and I just because I wanted some black wire so I bent that into shape like that, pushed that through the B, the way that I've looped it back and that stops it stops the bee from sort of rolling around on the wire and then it's just a case of clipping it onto the top of the straw and there it is. Hope you like it.